to cordially invite you to the session on the topic of metaverses, aka virtual worlds, and what risks might be associated with them. This session will take place at the Eurodic, both in temporary and online. In this briefing video, one of the key participants of the session, Fabien Benetou, will answer two questions, and hopefully those replies will help you to get more familiar with the session topic. Enjoy watching! Hello, hello. So, what is actually the metaverse? So I could tell you, but I think you heard that uh, enough. Uh, so let me try to show you in a couple of minutes, literally two. Uh, and for this, I'm going to start my WebXR. So we are now on the web server. And voila. So that took literally seconds. Uh, I'm on the web and I have a 3D world. Um, so some of you are going to say that that's just a 3D world. Uh, and you're going to be right. So I'm going to move myself a bit there, move my camera. Uh, yeah, a 3D world. So what? And I think you're right. So what? But uh, what one can do is also connect again a second time. And you can see here a little uh, avatar, so very simplistic, but still I believe it gets the idea. You can have a much more complex one and they can see each other. So of course, seeing myself a second time is not that useful. So what I can do instead um, is connect my VR headset. VR is optional, but I believe it gives the, well, most immersive experience basically. And you can already see them, a little preview. Uh, and if I click here, I cheat a little bit under the headset and I shake the head there. So I'm going to turn to say hi, hey there. Uh, and voila, you have uh, basically a social experience uh, that is via optional. Uh, could also be augmented reality, uh, but I, I won't show you this this time. But this is one little portion of the metaverse. Uh, you could have another server, make those server connect together, be federated, for example have it uh, with path through, have many other uh, options like IoT, transaction, etc. But a social virtual world or a federation or network of them uh, is basically the metaverse. So um, we all get a deeper understanding of what a metaverse or the metaverse or the metaverses could be. But what's also interesting, uh, as we start to set them up, uh, use it, interconnect, is what are the risks? What is the biggest risk? Um, so I, I showed a bit before an example uh, of a virtual world. Um, so I think it shows that, minimally speaking, at least, and even if you forget the visual that it works today. Uh, so what I think is uh, the most important or the, the deeper risk is, is something I touched on upon a bit before, meaning you have on the right existing virtual worlds, uh, on the left, some of those I've shown you before, and basically what you have on the right, like uh, Meta Horizon Worlds or even VR Chat or the former L space or rather beautiful space, interesting space, busy spaces, um, at times, but they're also world gardens, basically, meaning that if you have a profile, an avatar, a list of friends in one, you cannot bring it to the other. Uh, and I would argue it is by design. Uh, and this is what I see as the biggest risk. Um, whereas you have alternatives on the left, for example, like the one I showed you before, based on Network Dayframe and Mozilla Hubs, you can have a component called Immer Space, but there could be another where that you have the different worlds from different owners, uh, a federated basically metaverse. So basically the connectivity, how we are not going to have, I mean, world gardens is the nice word, ghetto, data, ghetto is a less nice way to put it. But if we basically reproduce isolations, uh, then I think, yeah, that, that's the biggest risk. And that's something that is not glamorous, but that I think we should address uh, right away because yeah, that, that happened before and is still happening uh, regardless of 3D or virtual worlds. 